Alright guys, NMRC here with you. Got the comp crawler. As you can see, the front is the only one that can steer right now. And this guy is my new one, my second new one. I made it four wheel steer already. As you can see, you can steer both the front and rear separately, crab walk, all that other stuff. So I'm going to take this rear axle off and throw it on my comp crawler because that's what a comp crawler has. So I'm going to make it that way and then I'm going to put this straight rear axle back on here and um, as you see this in the background I'm going to put this body on this guy. I'm not going to do the interior and all that stuff. I'm going to do a video of everything else too that everybody's done, which I've already done before I've seen their videos, but um, it doesn't matter, rather you believe me or not, but uh, uh, this thing would stay up here. There we go. I'm going to take this off. And, um, sorry. <laughs> I move my finger and it keeps falling. I'm going to get that plate and cut it and fold it down without cutting it all the way. Fold it down, set the battery there like everybody else does. Set this receiver probably more to the front. Oh, no. Hopefully. Um, and go from there and I'll show you guys all that while I'm doing it. But for now, we got to get this uh, front axle off the rear and the rear on the rear. So, let's begin doing that there. Alright, so we got the wheels off. And this is for people that haven't done this, or don't know, or are interested and want to try it. So you just take these links off I used. <coughs> Excuse me, I still use the factory links in the back, drive shaft, all that stuff, because I didn't want it to shorten the wheelbase, just keep the wheelbase the same. So that's how come it, it is the way it is. You don't have to change out the links or none of that. You just pop the shocks off the uh, ball studs. And uh, I'll show you what I did here for the uh, top links here in a second. Actually, I could use this guy. So see this, this uh, top mount. <coughs> the other axle, it has it as a hole right here, not from the sides like this. It has it on the hole there. So what I did is I still stuck these links that are at the top down in there on the sides here but on that axle and still screw them in there and then you can see the screws butt up against each other see that let's see here focus see that right in there that's where the screws at right there so it's open in the center for this wide link right there to go up into it and then a long screw just goes right through it. But I used all the stock screws off the rear end to, uh, you know, make it work. And that's how you do it. As you can still use the two top screws, screw it right into the center of it on both sides, and it'll hook. It'll stay there just fine. It won't come out or nothing. It works really good. Let me slide this up against the truck since it wants to move around on me. So we'll get that screw out. That's for the top, for the stock rear axle. And then see on the comp crawler, I got to figure out how I'm going to mount this on the top. Because the links on the comp crawler are ball studs only. 
they're not screws like this with little sleeves in them, like the real one tenth, tenth uh, scale crawlers are done. Oh man, that Allen wrench doesn't want to go in there. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about hooking it up to the top to make that work when it's ball studs. I don't know if I can run it the same way as I'm doing here because you have to make the holes significantly bigger for those ball studs to uh, screw into this axle housing like I did on these ones that I already have on it, which kind of is a bummer because now that rear axle on this guy is going to have bigger holes on it and I probably can't use it now on the stock truck like this right here so yeah that's kind of a waste in my opinion but I don't know maybe I could figure out and use just use bigger screws and get lucky that way but uh yeah and I have this rear servo for the rear steer plugged in channel 3 on the receiver and if you guys don't know or know where that's at I'll show you to the people that are new and don't know all this stuff yet I will show you here in a second I'm just trying to get all these screws out and what's nice too on this truck is that the link screws are all the same size for these four links back here so that's really cool that they kept it that way so we'll flip it over so you have a an extender and then here's your receiver slash um, ESC and see that's your third channel is your aux channel auxiliary so I just gotta unplug it there we go that's to the servo and then I just lift this up oh yeah I gotta pop the uh, shocks off so I'll flip this guy over and you just need a pair of uh, needle nose pliers to uh, pop the shocks right off the ball studs on this little axle here alright I'm gonna have to pause it okay so we got it out so all you do is you get the needle noses and you get right here, you clamp it like that and just twist it. Just real careful, twist it right off the ball stud and it'll pop right off. So there's those. And then here's the axle and servo. It's only 20 bucks on eBay, all complete other than the servo. So, gotta have a servo to put on it. Which I have another backup servo of one of these. That way I can um, get the Sonoma back and going because this front axle is off the Sonoma. So, I gotta buy another axle and the Sonoma will be going. But, um, that's how you take and install either the rear axle or a four wheel steer you know, just another front axle on the back to make it four wheel steer. And that's how you install that. So I'm going to get this axle on here, get it all installed, and then I'm going to take that off. And then I'll put you guys back on when I'm ready to uh, figure out what we got to do. Because see, look at these aren't the small, small screws here. These are ball studs. And it's weird because the link goes in the middle of this ball stud. It's like a double ball stud. So the link goes there, then your shock on the outside as it screws in. So that's kind of weird, you know what I mean? So I'm hoping these upper ball studs will work on this guy right here. Which, oh yeah, now I can show you. And what's what I don't like about this design is it's part of the servo tray for this upper link mount so you take this servo tray off you're not going to have an upper link mount you know what I mean so that 
that's kind of lame. And I've taken it apart and all that, and it's just, it's part of it. It's just how it is. So, yeah, keep that in mind. You know, it's part of the servo tray, so when you're cutting up the servo tray, be very careful of doing so, because that's your your third member, or it could be your fourth member for your dual links, however you go about doing it. I don't have another Y. Well, I do have another Y that I could put, but I was worried about it being too short, because how it hooks to the skid plate still right there, and then these links do, but having the longer links in the back, I'd have to put the shorter ones for that other Y, and then I'll just suck in the wheelbase like crazy, and yeah. But with this body on here, I might have to go the shorter links on the rear of this guy to get this body on this chassis. So when I go to do that, I'll put you guys on for that to put on here also. So I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, throw this axle on there, get this one off, and then put you back on to put this guy on here and see if we can figure it out. All right, guys. It will, it looks like it'll work. So, I just got to pilot the holes a little bit bigger. And uh, it looks like it worked just fine. So, easy way to make the holes bigger is, well, you could use a drill and drill bit and all that. Or uh, like a hand one that you use for models to drill out the holes by it like a hand. Or you, if you don't have none of that stuff, you can use a body reamer. So that'll work just as easy. And these drive shafts from the Barrage Comp Crawler fit right on these axial axles, as you can tell. So I gotta swap that too and put it on this guy here. So, and it takes a 1.5 wrench on these ball studs on the Barrage F F TX, Outback, all that stuff. So that's cool. I like that a little bit better than these super tiny Allen screws, but um, yeah, so I'm going to get these cleared out and then we'll get it installed once I get it on there. Then I'll put you guys back on. All right, guys, finally got it all together, screwed right in there. Had to take the ESC tray out to uh, clear the servo. To have room to flex up and down and all that I put that that used to be the um, chassis servo mount brace but I put it back here as a regular brace for it to uh, strengthen the rear of it put the ESC on the side the battery's still gonna go in the front and uh, I might be able to set the ESC right on the top Cause I'm not gonna have an interior and stuff in it, it's just a comp, so. All right, I'll show you guys how it looks with the body on it. Set it on this other crawler here. So how I have this set up is I just set this on the, over the rear, slide it down till I get the, uh, till I get the front body posts on here. Once I see where they're at, oh, here we go. There's one, one little guy. Let's see if I can get this other guy in there. I can't see where it's at right now. Come on, where you at? There it is. So that's basically how it's gonna look, how it's gonna ride, how it's gonna sit. So, just like that, just have front body pins. I got to get body filler for that crack right there. And uh, that's how the ESC sits. Can't even see it if the truck's regular. I'll tuck all the wire in. Barely see it out the bottom. But not bad, you know? Not too shabby. So, yeah.
And once I get the clip in there, this body will sit straight instead of sideways like that. There's the rear of it right there. I'll run the wire along the frame rail, zip tight to the frame rail there. But, uh, yeah, there's the comp truck. It's basically done. Um, I kind of want to run these big tires. I kind of want to run those ones. But I'm not too sure. I'll probably just stick with the stock barrage tires. Because I like that look of the bead and stuff too. But I don't know. We'll see. I'll have to do some test trials with tires and all that stuff. And make it where I can put BBs in these tires too. And uh, go from there. But yeah. There's the comp so far. So we'll set this guy to the side right here. As you can see. Already got the shell off of this guy here. I haven't done the plate mod yet. I'm waiting on that until uh, we see how this guy fits. I kind of, I really don't want to glue this bed to the um, cab of that truck. Let me get this strap down here. There we go. I kind of want to have it as a two-piece body, like a real truck. Let's see here if I can get this cab off here. Oh, come off. Oh, 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 oh. Everything's falling. I'm not going to have this interior in it so that can come out. There's the chassis. <laughs> Believe me, this is not mine. Uh, my friend bought it this way, already somewhat built, So, which is crazy. It is a four-wheel drive. That's, this model is pretty rare. I haven't seen one ever like this. So, yeah, see, we got a giant uh, gap there. So, we're going to have to shorten the wheelbase for sure for this guy. Which is fine because it is a short wheelbase truck. And uh, it might sit about that tall or so. Because, due to the fact of these tires will rub on this potty. So, I don't want it to rub, but it's not going to be crazy tall like the uh, Sonoma up there that isn't on the chassis yet. Um, because this won't have full interior and won't have all that crap in the way won't have the motor in it either um i'm not gonna do all that crazy stuff like i did on the sonoma so i don't know i might do like what uh tj the rc guy did is just cut that block in half and stick it in here i might do that but eh, i don't know I just want to make it a hard body truck and that's it. <laughs> Alright guys, here it is. Let me shut off this super bright light. Does that help? Nope. Oh, sorry guys, it's going to have to be bright light. But, uh, let me turn this guy to where we can see it straight forward and backward. So here's that, here's the rear, there's the front. So it's all done on this third channel, right here. Just go like that, as you can see. And right in the middle, that's it. All right, guys, there it is. We shorten up the wheelbase on the axle. I just need to move the shocks forward, make it look better. But uh, 
There you go. I'm gonna get little magnets from uh, Home Depot. Little earth magnets and stick them on here and here. Same with on the back right here. Stick them here and here. Only way I'd like glue the bed to this cab is if I can use the stock hinge system and flip the whole body open, a hard body, that'd be pretty sick. Uh, but I don't know, I think this might be too tall. Because I tried it on the Sonoma and it was too tall due to the fact that it goes down, not up in there. So if this was flipped upside down, then it'd have room. But yeah, as you can see in the body, it sits down in the body. So I don't think I can get that to work. Tried it with the Sonoma, uh, the Sonoma and I cut them and then tried to re-glue it and it didn't work. And I don't want to mess that one up. So, yeah. We'll just use little magnets, hopefully small enough that fit inside the holes of these. And then just glue some on the underside of this and just make it work like that. Alright guys, there's that episode. You'll see it soon with it running like that with this body on here and the comp rig hopefully I have it painted by that time finally all primered and then painted but if not it might be just in primer but uh there you go guys there's an episode of what I'm doing right now and uh if you got any questions concerns or anything like that just let me know and I'll try and help you out the best I can. And uh, have fun. Get out there with the Narcy and have a blast. And I'll see you guys in the next build or run video or whatever I decide to choose to film. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in.